Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy weekend, everyone. You're looking at a cloudy start in Santa Cruz where you can see uh, pretty quiet at the coast. And we're also seeing a little bit of mist early in the day. So keep that in mind as you are. Uh, perhaps driving around or running around this morning, taking advantage of the cool start. You can see the sunshine, though, above the clouds from Mount Madonna and Watsonville. And off towards the east in areas like Hollister, it's going to be a big difference for today versus tomorrow. Now, at the coast, very similar conditions both days, maybe a little more sun tomorrow, a little more wind. But inland, that's where you're really going to notice a difference. So for today, still going to be mostly sunny, but still going to be warm. So mid-80s for Hollister, some of our warmest spots, some low 90s. And then tomorrow, you notice cooler temperatures. It is going to be a little breezier, though. So both days will have a little bit of a noticeable breeze, maybe a little gusty at times. But tomorrow looks windier as well as cooler. Now, as for today, you can see the cloud cover making its way all the way into our valleys. But look at that. You can see in Hollister starting to see that move back. So sunshine actually approaching uh, the Hollister areas now. You're starting to see that sky clear and we're going to see that for our inland areas in the next hour or so. Coastal spots you're going to take a while to see the sunshine. Temperatures in the mid 50s for now and taking a look at the rest of the state. Look at this 85 degrees already in Bakersfield. So it is a hot start there and they're going to be seeing temperatures rising all the way up into the triple digit range. In fact, 20 degrees warmer than where they are now putting them in in the 105 range from Fresno down to Bakersfield. So there is a heat advisory for the Central Valley, especially the southern part where it's going to be uh, extremely warm throughout today. You can see some of those warm shades for our valleys, though, so we're still going to be influenced by this heat, but we're also going to be influenced by the cooler breeze off the water, and that's going to help keep our temperatures a little more comfortable. Tomorrow, the whole state starts to cool down. You can see those temperatures in the upper 80s to 90s. And then as we take a look at the big picture over the next few days, you're going to notice a ridge of high pressure getting replaced by this little dip in the jet stream. That's going to bring the cooler air. It's also going to bring those increased winds as we go into uh, tomorrow and Monday. Then and by the middle of the week, we'll watch this ridge of high pressure and see if it really starts to build in from the east to the west. That's where we've been getting a lot of our heat as we've been going up and down in temperature. It looks like this week's going to be similar to that, but maybe not as hot as cool air looks to make its way down uh, from the north. And that's going to be present for this holiday weekend. So we're going to be between the cooler air for the north and the warmer towards the south. Also, this could increase our winds, which would be something we'd have to keep our eye on, especially for the holiday weekend, uh, but we'll keep an eye on those temps and see just how warm it does get. As for temperatures for today, similar to yesterday near the coast, bay clouds could linger in some areas like around the Monterey Peninsula with 60s, 70s for many coastal spots into our inland areas. You're going to get warmer into the 80s, maybe even those low 90s for the hottest spots like around uh, the South Bay and then up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Boulder Creek tends to be one of our hotter spots in the upper 80s, and then you can see coastal areas. 60s to 70s, but that heat staying with us one more day, especially down the Salinas Valley, where you can see the winds influencing near the coast. And then in our warmer spots like Carmel Valley, going to be at 82 today. So temperatures the next few days near the coast, actually going to be a little bit warmer as we expect a little more sunshine by Monday and Tuesday, but opposite effect inland where we'll see uh, some temperatures dropping off into the 70s. So pretty pleasant the next couple of days with the exception of today. Today's still going to be hot. So stay inside, stay cool if you are inland. So you got a choice of where you want to hang out during this time, mm -hmm. inland or on the coast. Yeah, nice variety for everyone. All right, Gina, thank you. Mm -hmm.